Hello, my name is Mike Rayner and I'm from eWrench.com. This demonstration is about cloning an Ubuntu 12 server in VirtualBox. After the server is cloned, it is no longer able to connect to the internet. This video will demonstrate the steps necessary for the clone server to re-establish network contact. The outcomes for this video would be clone Ubuntu server in VirtualBox and write changes to files on the clone server to allow server to reconnect to the network. Requirements are VirtualBox Manager, Ubuntu 12 Server, and Network Connection with the DHCP Server, Dynamic Host Control Protocol. Additional info, a VI or VIM text editor cheat sheet, because we'll be using the VIM text editor, and this will give you, if you want to look up some additional commands for the v text editor, you'll find it there. To clone a virtual server in VirtualBox, simply go to Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager, select the machine that you virtual machine that you wish to clone, right click and select clone. And here you get a chance to put the name in. It gives the default name clone. So I'm just going to call this clone Ubuntu and I do want to reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. This is a virtual network card inside the clone, and each machine should have a different MAC address if it's going to access the uh, network. You don't want to have two machines with the same MAC address, otherwise you're going to have some network collisions. Then click Next. Select Full Clone, because this machine is going to be separate from the other one. Click Clone. And then we sit back and wait. Once the machine has been cloned, you'll see it right here, Clone Ubuntu QQ1. The next step will be to start this virtual machine and reset the network connections. After uh, cloning, we're going to have to reset the network connection on Clone Ubuntu before it'll become a working server. So simply let's start it up. Right click, Start. In this case, a box comes up that says allows to switch to a scaled mode which makes gives me a little bit larger screen. A note right here that the host key is currently fine is right control so if you want to go back you just hit host plus your home key. Let's switch. After a while the boot will stop where it says start team configure virtual network devices. This is where it's going to hang up because it can't get a network connection. After a while, you'll see another line comes up says waiting for network configuration, and then it will say wait, it will wait for 60 more seconds. This makes for a very long boot process, but we're going to fix or repair this by resetting the network connections after we log in. Here's uh, waiting for up to 60 more seconds for network configuration. I'm going to fast forward to the login screen from here. Here's the login screen. User. Password. Now the first place I'm going to go to is a file called 70persistent.net rules. So I'm going to go to cd etc udev rules.d directory to an ls and you're going to see that file 70 persistent dash net dot rules it's a, it's a computer generated file and essentially what we're going to have to do is take everything out of that file in order to do that we're going to use the vim or vi editor and simply type in the whole file name net and at this point if you really want to hit a star you can rules and you'll see that it's got uh, some eth for you've got eth1 and eth0 two names two files and what we have to do is simply erase these files now if you want to you can back this file up but I didn't do it because all I'm doing is actually erasing this and the file will be regenerated by uh, Ubuntu. So I go down to the bottom, I hit I on the keyboard for insert, 
and then I start backspacing and just deleting everything until and if I want to go all the way to the end I use the right arrow key to go all the way to the end and get to the end of the eth one and simply delete everything except the comments which are prepended by pound the pound signal So once it's there, I simply hit escape, WQ for write quit, and so it's written. That should take care of that, and if I want to verify that, I would simply say cat persistent, uh, what was it, I'm sorry, LS, let's get the exact name, cat 70 persistent slash or dash net dot rules and you see it's it's clean or it's there's nothing in it so the next file I want to uh, work with is I want to go to CD simply the ATC directory do an LS and I want to look for a host file HOSTS there it is now one thing I want to do here is I want to back up this host file because if I make a mistake here um, I could get into problems because I may not be able to get back. So I'm going to do a sudo cp host to host dot bck backup. There already is a backup file just simply name it backup2 or something like that. Hit enter and if we do an ls again you'll see that there's a host backup there. So let's go change that file. I'm sorry, sudo vim, this is a text editor, hosts. Now you notice that this is our other machine, the LAMP Ubuntu QQ1, but this one is the clone Ubuntu. So all we really have to do is go over here, hit I for insert, and change the name to clone Ubuntu because that's the name of this machine. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether your uh, uh, virtual box name matches your host name but you've got to have a different host name from the last computer otherwise when they hook up on the network it's going to get uh, confusing. So this one's going to be clone Ubuntu and we're going to go hit escape again and then do a w right quick now there's one other file we have to edit and if we want to it's the host name file and so let's do an ls and let's let's see if we can find a host name file and then we're going to do a sudo cp host name to host name back that up and it says unable to resolve host which is what you would get because we've got a host file with one name and a host name file with another so let's change this sudo vim host name and in this case we go over here hit I to insert delete and we'll simply call it clone because that's the name that we picked for our machine. Escape, and then colon, WQ, right quit. So that should be correctly written. So now we're going to do a sudo reboot. And we should be able to, uh, once we reboot, everything should be working. Here it goes. comes on quickly simply go to mic log back in and do an if config and here we have 
uh, an IP address. And that's about it. Thank you.